where are we going today hello everyone welcome to another episode of our channel odc we are embarking on another journey which is 200 kilometers away from muscat so now we've decided to stop at second cup coffee in wadi adai for a delicious breakfast and some hot coffee for refreshment this is a view near the wadi janehi stream so now let's talk about wadis nature's water parks in oman these rocky canyons transform into oases like wonders during the rainy season meet my coffee loving husband feeling his adventures with the liquid magic from second cup coffee because every journey needs a good caffeine companion cyclone gono once tore through wadi adai al amrath road leaving destruction in its wake but wait here is the incredible part the government of oman stepped in and reconstructed a new road showcasing an engineering marvel that defies the forces of nature And here is the fun part. Where are we going today? We are going to Sur. It's a uh, 200 kilometers from Muscat. Oh. Uh, it's a, it's a capital of Shaukia region. Oh, that's great. Let's go to Sur. Anyway, <laughs> weather is quite bad today. Uh, it's very windy. There's a lot of dust storm. So the car is kidding. Yeah, you guys might not uh, hear us because there's a lot of sandstorm issues. After Cyclone Gono. The new coastal road via Al Amrath and Wadi Adai has reduced the travel time by one and a half hour. Previously, travelling to Sur was very tedious via Ibra and Al Kamil Al Wafik. The journey used to take three and a half to four hours. Now, the journey only requires two hours fifteen minutes. Growing up in Oman, I can recollect those days. Getting to Sur felt like embarking on a daring adventure. The roads were rugged, the journey was long, and the obstacles were plenty. But oh, how times have changed! Today, reaching Sur is a breeze. Smooth roads stretch out before you, making the journey a whole lot easier. Now we are escaping the hustle and bustle of Muscat. Things start to chill out, and the awesome beauty of Oman takes the wheel. The stunning Arabian Gulf coast on our left, and the majestic. Eastern Ajar Mountains on our right, all making our drive a total blast. Driving about 200 kilometers from Muscat to Sur isn't just a road trip; it's a journey through some of Oman's coolest spots, from day trip wonders near Muscat to hidden gems in between. This road is the ultimate way to soak in everything Oman has to offer. Imagine cruising along the Muscat Sur Coastal Road, where you can explore ancient sites, go on adventures in popular wadis. and dive into traditional omani life in charming fishing villages along the way it's like a super sized omani experience fasten your seat belts everyone we are excited to show you a lot of beautiful spots in our journey to sur we are also enjoying this deliciously made sohar chips which is truly omani As we leave Kuriyat behind, the world expands. The endless blue canvas of the Arabian Sea unfolds before us, whispering tales of adventure and tranquility. And there, like a treasure chest buried in the sand, emerges a town, our secret haven. left side is the arabian sea so uh, this this view is beautiful uh, it's a awesome drive uh, and uh, i think we should be in sur like in one in another one hour uh, but we might stop or you know here and there to show some beautiful places uh, some beautiful beaches okay yeah.
Now we are heading to the most beautiful Thivi beach located on the coast of the Arabian Sea. Thivi beach is known for its stunning scenery, unique rock formations and crystal clear waters. Here we are taking the exit of the route 17 and following the signs for the beach. Guys, we have reached the TV beach. Uh, it's very beautiful. I'll show you around. The first thing that strikes you is the sheer vastness of the sea. The beach stretches for miles in either direction and the water is a deep mesmerizing blue. Sadly, it's time for us to say goodbye to Thivi Beach. Thivi is truly a paradise. We are heading towards the main destination Sur. Sur is a port city located on the eastern coast of Oman, known for its rich history, stunning beaches and traditional Dao shipbuilding industry. See these little champions near the lake? They are having a blast playing football, the loft echoing through the air. Right, we are in Seoul right now. Yeah. So we are, we are heading towards the beach. This is the, the souk is on the right side. As we continue, keep your eyes peeled on the left side of the frame. There you'll see the stunning cornish of Sur stretching out before us. This picturesque seaside promenade is a beloved spot for both locals and visitors alike. We are taking a detour of the beaten path to explore the Al Kesa beach. Nestled in the Al Sharqiya region, Shia often gets overlooked by the travelers. But trust me, skipping this charming village would be a major miss. Just a quick 30 minute drive from the Sur Bridge, you'll find yourself transported to a world of stunning coastline and relaxed vibes. And oh, look at that beauty! And today, we are joined by our uncle and his family for a beach adventure. This Al Kesa beach is known for its pristine white sand, crystal clear waters and dramatic cliffs. Trust me, it's pretty spectacular. This husband and wife duo here, ready to explore. We ventured to the other side of the cliff, offering panoramic views that took our breath away. Unfortunately, on this particular visit, Mother Nature had other plans. Strong winds made venturing down to the beach itself a bit too risky. 
We were lucky enough to be exploring with our awesome uncle and his family. So even with the beach off limits, laughter and good company filled the air. Feast your eyes on the marvel that is the Khor Al Bata Bridge, a 204 meter long suspension wonder. Sur, boasting one of the oldest ports in Oman and the Arabian Gulf, got a modern makeover in 2009 with this bridge. Say goodbye to long drives. Now a scenic three-minute journey connects Sur to Aisha. Let's cross into adventure. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to Odyssey Pair.